What's up guys, as you can see, I'm excited and that's because today we're gonna to talk about my new bike day, the Cervelo Caledonia 5. Before we get into it, I do wanna give a quick shout out to Cervelo because they did supply me with the frame set. You guys know I keep it 100% honest on this channel. So Cervelo did provide me with the frame set, but the other components that we'll get into, I was uh, I went ahead and purchased those. Now, if you're new to this channel, my name is Calvin aka C. Smith. I usually do videos on Zwift, Trainer Road, uh, reviews on different products related to the cycling world and things like that. But if you're not new, as you can see, I have a little bit different background behind me. That's because I'm in Girona right now. And that ties into the reason why I switched from my Bianchi to the Cervelo Caledonia 5. I have some pretty big rides that I'm planning to do while I'm out here. And for that purpose, I wanted to switch over to an endurance frame versus an aero, more aggressive frame. And I have my Bianchi for about three years or so. I had over 32,000 miles on it and I just thought it was time for a change. But enough talk, let's get into the Caledonia 5. For me personally, I went ahead and got the size 61 frame. And if you want to know more information about why I chose this size, let me know. Long story short, I have very long arms. So my reach is uh, pretty far out and I needed this frame to fit my needs. But if you guys wanna see a video on bike fit, let me know, happy to do that with my fitter and talk about the importance of getting the bike fit so that you can get the bike frame that is tailored to your um, anatomy. Now for my saddle, I just switched over the saddle for my Bianchi and it's the S-Works Power saddle. This is the saddle I've used for the entirety of my riding uh, career, I guess even though I'm not a pro. Before that, I had a different saddle, but the S-Works Power fits my wide booty. So uh, it's perfect for me. If you're thinking about getting that saddle, go ahead. It's very, very comfortable, especially on the long rides. For the wheel set on this frame, I went with the Bond Traeger Aeolus. And prior to that, I had a hunt wheel set, but that was for rim brakes. And I had to switch over to get a disc brake wheel set for this bike, because obviously it's a disc brake bike. And these are 51 millimeters deep. And I kind of like to stay around the 50th range. My hunt wheel set was 50 as well. And it just offers enough aerodynamics for me personally. And then also, so I'm never getting blown around when it's a windy day. Um, Cause I think if you go too, too deep, that's something that you have to worry about. Even if you're a bigger rider like myself. For the tires, I swapped over my Vittoria Corsa's uh, 28s. And honestly guys, this frame can fit up to 34 millimeters from what I understand. So I will be moving up to the 32s and I'm gonna switch over to tubeless as well once these tires uh, run their course because these tires I have now are not tubeless compatible. Now, if you're thinking about getting the Vittoria courses, just some watch outs. I love how they look, but they are very, very easily penetrated by debris on the road. But I love the tan wall look of them. So it's kind of like, it's pro and a con for sure. Out here on my first ride, I got a flat with the Victoria Courses and I had to pull over and uh, change that flat, which is no big deal, but it's just something I don't wanna have to worry about. So just keep that in consideration if you're thinking about getting Victoria Corsa tires. So as far as the cockpit integration, um, make sure that you know if you get a size 61 or whatever size you get, you're gonna get a stem in the box and then you're also gonna get a set of handlebars. For the 61 frame, I got a 44 millimeter handlebar, and then I got a 110, 110 millimeter stem. The 44 was way too wide, so I recently, I've recently switched over to the 42, and then I also have, um, oh sorry, I have the 40, I have 40 handlebars, and then for the stem, I'm gonna leave that at 110 for now, and I'll probably go out to 120, but this is something that I don't know why manufacturers or bike manufacturers in general don't give us more options. I would love to see uh, brands offer us the option to pick which stem and pick which handlebar that we want because I did have to spend more money to buy the handlebars that I wanted. And if I want the stem that I want, I'm gonna have to buy that money as well. Definitely keep that in mind and you will need to use the Cervelo handlebars only because it's an integrated cockpit with that stem. The Cervelo handlebar and I believe FSA makes a handlebar that is also compatible with their cockpit. So take note on that. I did have my DI2 wire exposed as well when I first got the bike. That's because I swapped over the DI2 from the Bianchi to this bike. But since then I have um, integrated the wire. Actually, I did it today. <laughs> so now everything's integrated. Still getting the feel for this bike. I'm gonna do a longer term review for you on it once I get some more miles in. For the group set, I swapped over again my Otega group set 
fully DI2. Um, and then my crank arms, I have a 172.5 uh, on the cranks as well. So that was a huge cost saving to already have that group set on board with my Bianchi. For my power meter, I have the Favero Asiyama power meter pedals. If you guys want a review on that, please let me know in the comments. I've used these for a few years now, and man, I love them. Before I switched over to the Favero Asiyamas, I had the Stages left arm crank. And the reason why I bought this I bought these is because I wanted dual power meters and for stages at the time you had to send your entire bike in for them to put the dual power meter on there and I didn't want to have to go through that go through two weeks without my bike um, I kind of sound like an addict but you know we kind of are we love cycling they were only five hundred and ninety five dollars I believe at the time that I purchased them and the thing that I love about those pedals the most guys is you can take them off and put them on another bike that you have very very easily i swapped over the carbon bottle cages as well for my bianchi just to keep everything light now to be honest switching from rim to disc brakes i was kind of hesitant rim brakes i feel like you can do just fine without getting disc brakes uh, the one headache with rim brakes obviously is buying more pads but you have to do that with disc brakes as well so far i like disc brakes i had some on my gravel bike but i wish that more brands would give you the option to either stay with rim brakes or go with disc brakes but it doesn't seem like that's the case for the, um, the industry as a whole at this time. It seems like we're basically just being told that we have to ride disc brakes. So far, man, this bike rides so, so smooth. My Bianchi was smooth, but I feel like I can definitely get more miles in on this frame setup without getting tired or my back getting sore, things like that. And I definitely have some big, big rides planned. So I'll be documenting that for you guys so you can follow along on the journey. But I think if you are considering getting the Caledonia 5, pull the trigger, especially if you're thinking about getting an endurance bike. I love the tire clearance on there. I'm going to put bigger tires so that I can do some light gravel. And that, with the price point, it is a little more expensive, but the fact that I get an option to ride on light gravel and on the road, it's a no-brainer for me. I had two bikes prior to this and now i have one where i can do both you ridden gravel in girona please leave in the comments where you think i should ride on some fire road type uh terrain i definitely would appreciate that and just to update you guys i won't be doing any zwift or trainer road videos uh for the future for a little bit because i don't have my trainer out here and because i have the disc brakes now my trainer would not or my bike would not have worked on the trainer that i had anyway so i'll be doing more riding in real life i will be using trainer road though once i get back onto training i'm going to be targeting sea otter girona um, if everything works out accordingly so i'll be doing videos on that definitely if you guys have any questions let me know in the comments um, here or in my other videos happy to chat and let me know what you guys love about the cal 5 if you have a cal 5 already what your thoughts are what people should consider when they're buying the bike uh, put that in the comments so everybody has information that they need on this video and uh, thanks for your time guys talk soon